The gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Lukemeyer. Gentleman from Missouri is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Madam Chairman and Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to rise today in support of House Resolution 390, a resolution recognizing the Winston Churchill Memorial and Library in Fulton, Missouri, as America's National Churchill Museum. Before I discuss the details of the bill, I'd like to thank the many folks who helped make this possible. First, I want to thank my predecessor in Congress, Kenny Holtzoff, who first introduced this resolution in the 110th Congress. Kenny laid the groundwork for the passage of this bill, and I'm honored to finish the work that he began. Also, from the moment I first introduced the resolution, the Missouri delegation was at my side. To be sure, I'm extremely uh, pleased that every member of the Missouri delegation signed on as an original co-sponsor of my resolution, and I want to thank them for all their continued support. I also want to thank the many other members of this body who supported me in this endeavor, many of whom are Churchill enthusiasts themselves. I'm truly honored to be in such good company. I look forward to welcoming all of them to my district where they bring their, can bring their families to visit America's National Churchill Museum. Most of all, I want to thank President Forsyth, President of Westminster College, and on whose campus the museum is located, and his dedicated staff, Angie Robinson, Rob Krauss, and countless others. I also want to recognize the museum's executive director, Dr. Rob Habers, for his daily devotion, expertise, and passion to the upkeep and expansion of this remarkable museum. Much has been written about one of the greatest figures of the 20th century, Sir Winston Churchill, a man with a literary bent and a deep devotion to public affairs. He was a Nobel, Peace Prize, uh, Nobel Prize winner, an artist, a keen strategist, and a brilliant politician. He was also instrument, instrumental in bringing an end to World War II. On March 5, 1946, Winston Churchill delivered his historic Iron Curtain speech on the campus of Westminster College in Fulton, Missouri. With a current population of close to 13,000 and a then population of 7,000, Fulton was, and still is, the perfect stopover in the rolling green hills of central Missouri. And there, the man Harry Truman called the great world citizen, Winston Churchill, marked the beginning of the Cold War, Cold War with the words that were heard around the globe. Today, the speech is regarded as perhaps one of the most important that Churchill ever delivered. The speech contains certain phrases, the special relationship, the settings of peace, which at once entered into general use, and which have since survived. However, it's Churchill's mention of the Iron Curtain that attracted immediate international attention and shaped opinion in the United States and Western Europe. He said, from Satine in the Baltic to Trieste in the Adriatic, an Iron Curtain has descended across the continent. Russian historians date the beginning of the Cold War from this speech, and in its drawing together of several themes to a climax, Churchill's speech may be regarded as one of the finest in the 20th century. It certainly changed the way the democratic West viewed the communist East. The standing achievements in Winston Churchill's life are a testament to his dedication to protecting liberty for all people. Churchill not merely hated tyranny, he despised it, and he reviled communism. The contempt he breathed for dictators renewed his Iron Curtain speech in Fulton, Missouri, strengthened the West's faith in the superiority of democracy and the inevitability of its success. The Winston Churchill Memorial and Library was founded in 1969. The museum is a 16th century church designed by Christopher Wren that was painstakingly relocated brick by brick from London, England to Fulton, Missouri. And is the only museum in the nation that exists for the sole purpose of honoring the life and extraordinary legacy of Winston Churchill. I might also mention that it underwent a multi-million dollar renovation just a couple of years ago. The bill we consider today recognizes this museum as the world-class facility that it is, and the historical significance of the site. I urge all my colleagues to join me in passing this important legislation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back his time. For what purpose does the gentleman from the Northern Mar Mariana Islands rise? Mr. Speaker, does the gentleman from Washington?